Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Thursday, February 27th, 2014. Well, I have a new microphone today. I uh, remember if uh, you're a regular watcher, you know that I had some audio uh, challenges last month. Well, it turns out, I believe it was my trusty old $9.99 microphone. Uh, which has lasted me faithfully for a couple of years and gone through quite a bit of abuse and I was pretty happy with that particular purchase but I had to go out and get a new one so fortunately I had done my homework and I knew exactly which microphone that I wanted to get and Best Buy happened to have it in stock in store I didn't even have to go online and do it and wait and not be able to talk to you or use the horrible microphone that's built into my laptop. Well, enough about that. Let's talk about option trading and the credit spread system version 2.0. Starting out here today, we have durable goods orders and jobless claims. Both have red stars. Then we got Auntie Yellen speaking at 10 a.m., but apparently she's not going to be speaking about like minutes from any meeting or any decision process. She's just going to spew some hot air, I guess. Anyway, I won't be listening. There's a lot more uh, interesting people out there to listen to at 10 o'clock in the morning than her. And, you know, try to read something into what, that, what she is saying. I don't want to give her uh, the credibility, I guess you might say, uh, for, at least for this little speech that she's going to be giving. Uh, not to knock her or anything, but, you know, we play the markets based on what we see and people can say stuff but we'll look and see what the reaction is on the charts and we will act accordingly all right across the pond in Asia we are looking at a pretty bullish day over there actually they closed up pretty good but Europe is solid red all bare all bare and when we come here to take a look at the U.S. futures, all bear there, at least for the indexes. Gold is up a tad, and oil is still hanging around 102. All right, uh, remember yesterday we had uh, Amazon and LinkedIn with setups. So let's take a look at them on our charts. Amazon. Well, we got a hook on the stochastic, but we did not get confirmation on the MACD. My guess is with the way that uh, the futures are right now, we probably will get that confirmation. We will be waiting for that. And then LinkedIn was the other one. Uh, same thing. We got the hook on the stochastic, but no confirmation on the MACD can see that it's done that several times in this downtrend move above the 50 and then come down and fail in any sort of upward movement above the 50 come down with a failure above the 50 come down and we're above the 50 again so just uh, be patient on that one and then um, our other trades here I was looking at them before I would have gotten out yesterday on all of them in the afternoon. I mean, remember, we want to look in the morning and the afternoon before the close. I would have gotten out of this one. This one should have been profitable. Worst case, entering when the price was 554, we should have uh, collected some decay on that one, seeing as how the price pretty much ended up the same. And on FedEx, we actually got a double red yesterday. We got a double red. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> we are actually in this one. <laughs> uh, so we're looking good on this one. Um, Netflix was another um, static paper trade that we did here. 
and we got a double red down yesterday on that so at uh, 3 30 or so we would have exited that and that should have been profitable and then visa same story here with a double red down uh, price is still above worst case here uh, worst case here, the close was 226.19, and the close here was 226.11. So uh, that's not break even. That is the short strike. So it still should have collected uh, some time decay on that one as well. All right, I got a little nose sinus problem this morning, so bear with me. We're going to jump right. Well, let's take a look at our. One other thing that I did yesterday was I was talking about Boeing getting into a calendar. Well, here it is. Let's take a look on the Analyze tab at the calendar. Uh, I did two of them. Oops. No. I uh, did. Where are we here? March and May. That's what I did. March and May. We were right around uh, 200 yesterday, and it's now it's a tad above it for the peak, for the pole in the tent, and um, did move down just a tad yesterday. So we're looking for uh, it to move down to the 120 level sometime in the near future, and then we can collect a couple of bucks off of that. This particular position down here is still a leftover from a, you know, a, a credit spread. Uh, or no, it was another calendar that I did on it. And this particular option just is not worth anything. So there's no reason to sell it because I wouldn't get anything for it. And it just charged me a transaction fee. So I'll just leave it alone. It's at the 110 level. Um, probably pretty safe between now and tomorrow I would say all right now we can get into the A plus list let's take a look at Apple um, we're probably not going to hit this target <laughs> anytime soon we'll leave it there because that's where we want it to move but probably won't hit it anytime in the near future um, and Amazon we're waiting for that so that's still back on our setup for today and then Boeing uh, really nothing going on there there's no setup anytime soon uh, Baidu can't determine the trend Wow the uh, estimate was $1.38 and he actually earned $5.12. Wow. That's unbelievable. Let's see what happened in the, in the uh, aftermarket. Nothing. <laughs> That's weird. And we had a nice move. Nice pop up. Let's see, we closed here at 172. And where did we end up? At 174. That's not much of a, much of a move for a uh, surprise like that. Wow. That's pretty... That's pretty amazing. Alright, let's go back here to... E2. All right. Um, so we'll just wait and see what happens with Baidu. Celgene. Um, yeah. I want a more convincing pattern on this. Celgene has tended to surprise me a lot of times. Chipotle. Yeah. We checked that one out. We would have been out yesterday afternoon. Although we didn't get the double red, still would have gotten out just with these two red candles. It seems to be trying to fight against a avalanche. Well, not maybe an avalanche, maybe just a, um, a 
Rapids, I guess you might say, uh, Costco. Uh, we have a setup on Costco. All right. So if I was to get into a trade today on these, um, if we get the right money, it would be like almost like overnight trades. Costco's at 115.88. So can we get what we're looking for? We have dollar spread and a 61 cent credit, which I'm sure will be different once the market opens, but that would be a good, nice little overnight trade. I just would not go into next week. I would not want to hold anything over the weekend if I didn't have to, at least on the short term CSSV2 trades, I would not. Uh, in my um, strategy, in the actual document, I say to be um, conscious of it, but my conscious tells me lately, uh uh, not holding over the weekend. So that would be a good trade at the 115 with the dollar spread. You click $61 on it if it if expires worthless tomorrow afternoon. That, ladies and gentlemen, would be the way to go on that. That's a very nice looking uh, trade. Costco, uh, same thing. Well, that was Costco that I was looking at. <laughs> That's why it's the same thing, you idiot. <laughs> All right, let's go to Chevron. Uh, Chevron is also setting up. Don't know if you can get as sweet of a trade on that, though. Let's take a look. We're at 115, so here's a 62. We're looking for around a 50 delta, 36 too far out, so we'll go here. This also is dollar spread, and we get 53 cents. Dustin to change by the time the market opens, maybe you get 40 or 45. That's still pretty good. In my mind, depends on how far it gaps when it opens, of course. So Chevron is on the setup list as well. I have a feeling it's going to be a very active day here. All right, Igor. Uh, no setup there. FedEx. We're in it to win it. And it looks like it's moving quite well. Gold. And we're still waiting for a setup there. Google. Uh, it's not giving us an opportunity to get in. IWM. Or we have a calendar at 105 yet, I do believe. And it's not cooperating very well. That's a March calendar. We need it to move down. It's probably going to move down a little bit today. Um, but there is no setup for a credit spread. All right, we have uh, still have the setup on LinkedIn. We talked about that before. Mastercard uh, can't determine direction or trend. 3M uh, pretty much the same, and it's not giving us a setup anyway. Even if we were to say that this is an uptrend, Netflix. Um, we have a uh, exit on that, so we're waiting for the next setup, which would be over here, if we get one. Priceline. Waiting for a setup there, Russell. Waiting for a setup there, SPX. Uh, no pending setup. Tesla. I <laughs> did a big thing about Tesla. I was reading uh, Sazanoff this morning. He says, 
Tesla has said nothing about this Giga battery factory or whatever the heck it is that's going on. It's all pure rumor from some analyst. And, you know, look what happens to the stock. So was that guy long? And is he looking to go short? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This, that's what I'm saying. You know, we just read the charts. We're just reading the charts. That's all we're doing. News is fun to follow, you know, maybe if, uh, for investing, but definitely not for what we're doing. So anyway, uh, there is nothing pending on Tesla and Visa. We already took a look at before. And there may be another opportunity coming up here, approximately. All right, so I think that's it for today. I got my spreadsheet up. I'll, uh, I'll figure out what happened that week that the uh, family families came in. I know I had that loser. I actually got uh, called on it. Um, my puts were short puts were exercised, so I'll explain everything that happened there on that. Um, hopefully, I can get it in before I head back on Saturday back to the frozen north well i guess it's not so frozen now but at least most of the ice or and snow is gone it's still going to be pretty cold but uh shouldn't be too bad all right so that's it for today and we'll talk to you tomorrow have a great day and happy trading